Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Luke and today's tutorial is going to be a very short one. We recently had a user request a simple marquee effect using motion page and I realized I couldn't link him to one of our tutorials because we don't have one. So I thought I'd just make this quick YouTube tutorial to show you uh, an example of a marquee effect. In today's example, I'm going to show you the marquee in a loop. So it's just going to be forever looping and we can do two examples. One is going to be scrolling to the left side and then we'll also do one scrolling to the right. Pretty simple stuff. Uh, it shouldn't take too long. This tutorial will once again be using Bricks Builder. So let's get started. Okay guys, so just a prerequisite here, um, I will be using SVGs from this website, logoipsum.com. Uh, I will be using these as our examples, just kind of like a social proof that we'll use in the Mackey. So let's go to our pages. I've already created a blank page here called Mackey. And I'll just edit this with bricks. Okay, so what I'm gonna do first is I'm just gonna add a section here from a template, just so that we have some dummy content. I'm going to use this one and then below this, I'm going to add our main focal point of today's video. So let's go here and create a new section. Okay. So inside this container, I want to add a block. Now blocks uh, span hundred percent of the width by default. And this is going to be my main container. So I'm just going to call this wrapper for now. So this is going to basically contain two more blocks. All right. One block is going to contain four logos. And then the other block's going to be offset over here, containing our second set of logos. Now they're going to be the same logos. You'll see why I'm creating two versions uh, when we open up motion page. So let's just go ahead and add another block. And I'm going to call this row one, one. And before we add to the second one, uh, let's just do some styling here. So, well, actually I'll show you how this is going to work. So if I do duplicate this, you can see it's stacked like so which we don't really want. So on this wrapper here, what I'm going to do is add a class and then we can actually use this class in motion page. So this is going to be handy. So let's just call this marquee wrapper. Now on this class, I want to set it to be horizontal or row, but now you can see they've split 50 50, which we don't want. So what I'm going to do is on each one of these is just set the layout to have a min width of a hundred percent. And then row two is also going to be a hundred percent as well. So you can see, we do have some overflowing issues. So the easiest way to fix this overflow is just go to the wrapper and then we can do it on the class if you like. So what I'm going to do is go to layout overflow, make sure this is set to hidden. And now you can see we have no more overflowing, but rest assured this second row here is still there. We just can't see it because we've set the uh, overflow to hidden. So that's that. So I am actually going to delete this once again. I just wanted to show you how all this is working. So what I'm going to do for now is just delete this element and then let's just focus on this one for now. Now what I'm going to do is set this to be four columns. So I'm just going to use a utility class here from core framework columns four. So now you can see it's split into four segments and each logo is going to go in one of these. Now, one issue that people sometimes run into when making a marquee is sometimes the timing is a little bit off uh, during the loop and I'll show you why that's happening. A lot of people would usually add a gap. So if I add a gap of L, for example, gap L, you can see now we have spacing here. I think, let me just go ahead and add some logos and I'll try to show you what I'm talking about. So I'm just gonna go to logo Ipsum and copy some SVGs over. So add a code block here and I'm just going to paste in the SVG like so. Now I am going to do text center just to make sure that it is centered like that. And then what I'm going to do is copy this four more times like so. And I'll just replace these with different logos. Okay, so I have those set up and um, this is only the first row, if you remember. Uh, before I continue, I just want to make sure that all of these are in the middle. So I'm just gonna use items middle class here. If I duplicate this, now essentially what we've done is duplicated it over here. Now on this wrapper, we would need to add another gap to match this gap. So if I add a gap to wrapper of gap L also, now you can't see it because it's overflow hidden, 
But if I save it and just open up motion page now, just to show you what I'm trying to explain. So create a new timeline. We'll call this marquee. Let's target the marquee page. Now I do want this to be a page load. I want this to be continuously running. What I'm going to do is target our wrapper, which was marquee wrapper. But then I want to target the two rows inside of this, which we can just do with the asterisks like that. And then what we can do is on two translates on the X axis minus 100%. And I also want to make sure the ease is set to none. Now this is going to go really fast. But there you have it. So we're getting this nice effect. Now we want this to repeat. Now I'll set this to minus one so it's forever, infinite. Now you can see what I'm talking about if I just uh, expand this a little bit. Now you'll see as soon as it goes to the end, we have a little snapping effect there. That's going to happen again when this green one reaches around the beginning. There you can see it snaps and that's because of the gap. So we don't want to add a gap. Instead, what we can do is put the logos in their own wrappers and add padding to just those. So basically this wrapper here having this gap is causing the problem. Now, I guess you could leave it like this, but I prefer to have a little bit more space. So what I'm going to do is wrap all of these in their own blocks. Okay, and for the time being, I'm just going to delete one of these again, just so I can duplicate the one that I'm editing. And I'm just going to add a class to this. So let's call it Marquee Logo Wrapper. And then I'm just going to add some padding to it. I'm going to use some variables here. Okay, and then I'm going to add this class to each block here. Copy styles. All right, so that's that. And then I can just simply duplicate this one more time. We'll save that, go back to motion page, just refresh it. And now we should have a much smoother effect going on. Yeah, super smooth this time. So I'm going to expand this to around 15 seconds, just so it's a much slower effect. And much better. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is duplicate this and then we'll have it go in, in the other direction. So I'm just going to duplicate wrapper here. So let's just um, make things easier. Wrapper, this is going to scroll to the left. This is going to scroll to the right. This is going to be row one, two, one, one. This is also one, two. All right, so what we need to do here is actually marquee wrapper. Let's just rename this for convenience. So marquee wrapper left. And then once again, don't forget to make sure that row is selected. And then on this one, we'll do marquee wrapper right. And once again, let's make sure this is selected. Now this time you can see we still have this uh, overflowing issue here. Uh, so make sure wrapper right is set to overflow hidden. But before we do that, actually, I just want to show you something what we need to do because this is going to scroll in the opposite direction. We need to offset all of this to the left or it would be better at least. So what I'm going to do is just come here and make sure to click end here. So now you can see there's no overflow. It is actually going on this side. You can see it here, I just highlighted it. So if I save this and just have a look in motion page here, well, you can see I have a small issue here. So let me just go back and fix that. All right, so you can see now that this one is going off to the left and this one is going off to the right. So that's perfect. So now let's just make sure to uh, put the overflows back to hidden. And on this one as well. All right, save, refresh motion page. So now let's just simply edit this one. So the one that's gonna scroll left, 
is the top one. So we'll do left here. And then what we can do is simply duplicate this one, edit. This is gonna scroll to the right and therefore we'll need a positive value. So just get rid of the minus there. And let's have a look. And we'll just put it to the beginning so we can see this pin. Let's just make sure it's smooth once it gets to the end. Yeah, perfect. All right, so one last thing that I like to do with my marquees is just add a subtle effect. Uh, so if I go here now on the container, as you can see, I want to set this to be position relative. And then I like to add an overlay. So I'm just going to add a block. I'm going to call this overlay. Uh, we'll set the position to be absolute. So it spans all across the uh, parent here. And another thing is to make sure the minimum height is 100%. So it's uh, spanning the whole thing like so. And then what I like to do is go down here and add an overlay. So gradient to overlay, apply to overlay, and then I'm going to add three colors basically. Now the middle color is going to be transparent. And then these two outer colors need to match the background color. In this case, I'm using a BG body. So we'll add it to this one and the last one. And then just make sure the angle is set to 90 degrees. And then we have this very cool subtle effect here. So I'm just going to have a look at this on the front end. So here it is, you can see at the bottom. Now that actually might be a little bit too fast, but you can always extend the nodes to make this slower. And I'm just going to do that. I'm going to extend this to actually be 30 seconds which should slow it down dramatically. Save timeline. Let's refresh that. Yeah, much better, I think. But basically that's it, guys. Um, I hope you liked this tutorial. If you do have any questions, please let me know. Before I leave you, I just wanted to let you know that in the next video, I'm going to show you how to create something like this where on scroll you can see these testimonials uh, moving quite nicely. So it's pretty similar to the marquee effect, but uh, there are some slight differences. But if you're interested in that, then don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when this next tutorial is released. All right, thank you very much, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.